Hello, boys and girls. Today, let's read all about Bat Senses. I want to read this book, Our Mission, as we read. It's Find the Main Topic. We've been practicing finding the main topic. Let's do it again with this book. Remember, our main topic is what the text is mostly about. As we go through a book, our main topic is supported with lots of key details. These are the most important ones. How do we find that main topic? Look at the title, look at the pictures, and reread that first and last sentence. You can also find the main topic in the words that are repeating over and over and over again. If you see it a whole bunch of times, that's probably the main topic. Let's get reading. Bat senses. There's our table of contents. Bats have senses too, on page one. Touch, page two. Sight, page three. Hear, page four. Smell, page five. Taste, page six. And body parts, page seven. Bats have senses too. Bats smell, hear, taste, feel, and see, just like people do. In fact, bats have some of the best senses in the world. Are you looking out for that main topic, boys and girls? Touch. When bats fly, the hair on their body and their wings is very sensitive to what is happening in the air around them. Bats feel, with their sense of touch, everything from wind to bugs that are nearby. Bats' sense of touch make them great at flying. Sight. Many people believe bats are blind. That is not true at all. Bats have excellent eyesight. Some bats hunt using sight alone. Here. Instead of relying on their sense of sight for night vision, most bats use echolocation to find their way. This caption up here says, bat words, echolocation, a system in some animals for locating objects using sound waves. Back to the text. Bats send sounds out into the dark. Then they listen with their sense of hearing Echoes tell them how far away trees, walls of caves, and prey is. Smell. Some bats use their sense of smell to find a mate. Sack-winged bats have bag-shaped glands in each wing that are open to the air. Male bats wave their wings in front of the females for a few seconds, making the scent go into the air. Females will choose the male that smells the best to them. Taste. Bats that drink animal blood, like the vampire bat, have lost their sense of taste for bitter things. Over time, this type of bat did not have a use for tasting the bitterness of blood, so they just stopped using it. Other bats, though, that do not drink blood still use their sense of taste to taste bitter things. Body parts. Bats have many body parts that help make their senses strong. Next time you see a bat, think about all of the senses that they are using. Let's look at this cool diagram. Up here, we've got all of these labels. Let's start with this label. Coat of fur, oh yeah, for feeling, remember? Four fingers, I bet that's to grab their food. And a thumb. Well, that's just like us. They've got a sensitive nose to smell, big ears to hear, or wings to fly, and sharp eyesight. Now, remember your mission was to find the main topic. So I've, gave, I've given you this handy dandy tool. I call it my main topic checklist. Let's go through this checklist and go back into the book and figure out what that main topic is. So. The first thing I want to do is I use the title as a main topic clue. Let's go back to that title. 
bat senses. Hmm. Okay. I'll be thinking about that. Check. Okay, we looked at that. That'll be a clue. Bat senses. I looked for repeated words and I read the details to see what the author keeps telling me. So let's take another read through of our book, just in case, and look for words, repeated words, re words that happen over and over again. I think I'm gonna look out for the, the words bat and senses because that was the title, so we'll use that as our clue. We'll look out for those words. And as we read, think about all those details that the author keeps telling us. Bats have senses too. Bats smell, hear, taste, feel, and see just like people do. In fact, bats have some of the best senses in the world. Wow, just on that one page, I see one, two, three, four, five of those words I was looking for. I think we're off to a great start. Keep thinking about those details that the author, is read, uh, the author has written as well. Touch. When bats fly, the hair on their body and their wings is very sensitive to what is happening in the air around them. Bats feel with their sense of, of touch, everything from wind to bugs that are nearby. Bats' sense of touch make them great at flying. Sight. Many people believe bats are blind. That is not true at all. Bats have excellent eyesight. Some bats hunt using, oh, I forgot one. Some bats hunt use the, using their sense of sight alone. Here, instead of relying on their sense of sight for nighttime vision, most bats use echolocation to find their way. Bats send sounds into, out into the dark. Then they listen with their sense of hearing. Echoes tell them how far away trees, walls of caves, and prey is. Smell. Some bats use their sense of smell to find a mate. Sack wing bats have bag-shaped glands in each wing that are open to the air. Male bats wave their wings in front of the females for a few seconds, making the scent go into the air. Females will choose the male that smells the best to them. Taste. Bats that drink animal blood, like a vampire bat, have lost their sense of taste for bitter things. Over time, this type of bat did not have a use for tasting the bitterness of blood, so they just stopped using it. Other bats that do not drink blood still use their sense of taste to taste bitter things. Body parts. Bats have many body parts that help their senses, uh, that make their senses strong. Next time you see a bat, think about all of the senses they are using. Okay, can I just say, wow, there were so many words that were bat and senses. Uh, it's a good thing we look for those words because there were a ton of them. And as I was reading, all of the details seemed to be about bat senses too. All right, let's keep going down this checklist. The next thing it wants us to do is reread the first and last sentence. So let's go do that. This is page number one. Let's read that first sentence. Bats smell, hear, taste, feel, and see, just like people do. Let's read the next one, too. In fact, bats have some of the best senses in the world. Well, that those are about bat senses. Let's read the last sentence. Bats have many body parts that help make their senses strong. Next time you see a bat, think about all of the senses they are using. That's about bat senses, too. Let's check that one off, and let's... The next, the last thing on our checklist says, I use the illustrations and photographs as a main topic clue. Let's take one last picture walk. All those pictures look like they're about bats. So, let's figure out what this main topic is. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Come up with that main topic. What do you think the main topic is? Did you say bat senses? That's what it is. Nice work. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now, I challenge you, go use your own main topic checklist to find the main topic in a different book. Great job today.